Welcome back to Redneck Workshop 1. I'm Greg and we are going to change the engine oil and filter on a Yamaha F250 XA 4 stroke. I'm going to go over all the things you need to do and the steps. First off, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need. For this job, what you're going to need is a 3 h drive ratchet, 14 millimeter socket, small extension, 10 millimeter socket, a uh, 10 millimeter on a, I like a quarter inch because we have to remove the fuel filter to get it out of the way of the oil filter. And I don't want to over break the little bolts that are on there. Uh, a Yamaha oil filter 69J13440-03. It's a recommended filter for, from Yamaha. A 73 millimeter oil filter wrench. A 5 millimeter Allen wrench, large pair of uh, channel locks, waterproof grease, a little bit of brake clean to clean up any uh, oil that gets smed. And then I try to spray down all the bolts and stuff inside an engine with corrosion block. And then the special tools you're going to need small piece of cardboard and a thinner, longer piece. And what you're going to do with this is kind of roll this into a cup and you slide it up underneath the factory filter because it's way up inside the engine and when you spin the old one off oil will drip down all over the inside of the engine and we don't want that going into the water so this runs it down into a pan and helps us keep the engine clean and neat and makes cleanup a whole lot easier alright let's get started first off we're going to need the five millimeter allen wrench first thing we're going to do is we're going to come out here to the engine and there's one, two, three, four bolts that have to come out. Now this very bottom one over here is a much longer bolt than the rest. It's a little nut back op plate that fades and something fall to the pick it up and sit side back in on if you hear side oh you just slide it the other the second one is on top of it that see that's the little nut backer plate you don't want to lose those you're going to need them Then we have a bolt up here. So there's a total of four fasteners. And finally this one here. Once you get that off. Simply grab hold, pull off and down, set that to the side where nothing will fall on it, chip the paint up, and then when we're in here, we want to look around, make sure everything is doing well, no foreign deposits, no lost nest, look, nothing's out of place, so everything's good. Grease before we we're gonna this thing up is the finish plugs millimeter a nice little pull drain here to help drain team all out but I set a pan rubber and on that little piece of cardboard I stick it up here against here so the bowl drops down into the pan and doesn't hit our motor anywhere so let's get started we're gonna start with the 14 millimeter wrench and our small piece of cardboard put it on the drain plug we break it loose just get it started and then this is where this little piece of cardboard comes in. Stick it right there. And then when we pull this out, oil will all go in the pan. And I just have this on a box and a bucket and it holds the uh, drain pan up very well so that it's close to everything and you're not trying to sit there and hold it. And then we sit here and look at it. 
You also look in, is it gold colored or real silver color, which would mean we have uh, metal particles within the oil. That's a bad sign. So we're also looking at everything as it's drained to make sure that the engine is running properly and that uh, everything's going well inside of it. And you want to wait until it, all the oil is out of it. And now you're going to see where this piece of cardboard comes in handy. As the oil finishes draining, it starts to lip down. And if we didn't have this piece of cardboard here, it'd be going all over the side of our pan and the engine and on the ground, and that's not what we want. Now, there's another way to do this, and that's with an oil extractor that you put up inside the dipstick tube. Uh, that's that's all right if the engine's in the water and you can't get to the plugs. You know, you do what you have to do, but I, I don't feel that you get all the uh, sediment and uh, trash out of the bottom of the engine, nor do you get all of the oil out. I much prefer the method of removing the drain plug and letting it drain fully rather than using an oil extractor. But and not that it's bad, but I, I just prefer this method. And as you see, this is where the cardboard comes in handy. Otherwise, that oil will be going all over the place. And sitting here watching the oil dry, run out is about as fun as watching grass grow. And then once we get to that point that we're done watching, we simply screw that back in, drag it down a little bit, and then we can get rid of that piece of cardboard. Clean the oil off ourselves and the wrench a little bit. Snug it up, it doesn't have to be grilled on there. Clean up our drips, and then I take a little bit of brake clean, clean the area up, and then that is it for draining the engine oil. And carefully move your pan. And then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put this cover back on. But first, get ahead of myself. I like to hit all these parts with some corrosion block. Just to make sure we keep everything the way it should be. Then you insert that lip up inside. And then It'll snap onto those little pins that are in there. And then we put a short bolt right here. And just start these. Don't tighten them down until you get everybody started. And then down here, remember our long one goes on the bottom hole.
once you get them all started all you gotta do is snug them up down everything to make sure that we don't pollute the environment and that's all there is to drain in the oil next we're going to uh, change the filter and fill up the engine oil Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bracket right here off. It's two 10 millimeter bolts. And this will give us access to that filter. Then, if we're lucky, all we have to do is put this on the end of the filter, and it'll come off. And if we're not, then that's where the and then that's where the big pliers come in handy. Now, to do this, remember we have this sending unit right here that we do not want to break. So you grab the filter carefully. Okay. Once you get it starting to loosen up, this is where this piece of cardboard comes in. Make a little cup out of it, and you can slip it back up underneath there. And then I put a towel down, and I have a drain pan here. And what we do, we tilt the engine upwards. Sure that we have clearance. And then once you get it tilted upwards, you're going to reach in and spin that filter right off. And you see the excess oil goes right down the ramp instead of into our engine cowling. We're going to give that a second to drain off. And then make sure that you, on your filter, make sure you put some grease on the O-ring or some old engine oil so that it's lubricated up. Otherwise, you run the risk of having that filter not want to come off, period. And then bad things happen. Okay, once it's drained down pretty good, you pull that out quick. We get a filter up in there. Make sure you get it started square. Spin it on. Give it a hand tight. Put the engine back down. Now, I go ahead and I use a little wrench and I give it just a little bit of tightened until it stops and just a tad bit more and that's it. 
filter's changed. Now all we do is we get these two little bolts. them started back in place get them snugged up and then all they need is just a little tight now our next video will replace the filters that are inside here, but we're going to finish up here. Now we did drop a little bit of oil down in there, so we're going to get that cleaned up. But all in all, that went very well. And the oil fill cap is here on the top. And then my two engines take six quarts when you change the filter. Again, use Yamalube oil. It's a couple of dollars more a gallon, but it's worth it. And then we try to do this without spilling it. only two quarts left in this jug because I've already put the other two in the other engine and it is cheaper to buy this by the gallon than by the quart to get on the internet you'll find several places that even sell it by the case which brings the uh, cost down even further it's four gallons to a case Once that's done draining, make sure you put your cap back in. Dipstick's clean. Stick it down in there. Pull it back out and you see we have plenty of oil. So we know we've done the job right. And that's it for changing the oil in the uh, F250XA. We'll get things cleaned up and then uh, we're going to do a test run on each engine in the water. Make sure we don't have any leaks, make sure everything's functioning properly. And uh, hold on and we'll get to that and get that on video.